YouTube was good. It's Marcus. Quickly, in the intro, y'all might hear like a car or something. I have my window open, so just don't mind the cars during the intro. But um, this is part three to videos I've actually done on the channel already, which is 160,000 plus kill player teaches you how to kill grind whatever map edition. We've already done Storm Point and we've done Olympus. So if you want to know how to kill grind on those maps with somebody with as much kills as me, um, basically I commentate and I teach you how to get kills on that map with the best rotations possible. Uh, this map, obviously, this video is going to be based on Broken Moon. And um, I'm going to be showing you the best rotations for me personally on Broken Moon. There is two of them, but one of them I do like more than the other one, uh, which ironically, I'm actually not taking in this gameplay. I landed on my second location since it is the first drop. So the first drop, uh, actually, before I get into it, I'm just going to put on the screen right now where you, you guys can skip past all the the commentary and just watch the video. Somebody was complaining about it on the last video, but literally the entire purpose of this is for me to speak on it and teach y'all the best ways and tips and tricks for each map. So I don't know why you'd be annoyed for me talking for seven minutes straight, considering that's the whole point of the video. But yeah, um, but for Broken Moon, you're gonna either you're gonna, you're gonna want to land Holy English Core or you're gonna want to land Terraformer. There's no in between. You're gonna want to go Core or Terraformer. Occasionally, you can land Stasis Array. But the biggest rotation that I can give you is you're going to want to go to Terraformer. You're going to want to go to Promenade after. Then you're going to want to go to Stasis Array or Core. Either one of those you're going to rotate to depending on where you do hear the fighting at. Now, if you hear no fighting at Core, go to Stasis. You hear no fighting at Stasis, go to Core. Um, but you can pick and choose if you don't hear fighting at either one and then just kind of, you know, you just 50 50 your chance on running into somebody but 90 percent of the time i would just go to stasis first since it is closer you never know a team could be over there looting or maybe someone's rotating into res or whatever it may be to help you get a little bit of kills there um i do personally think that movement characters on this map aren't as needed as they are on other uh maps you know for example like olympus i think horizon path the octane are extremely good on olympus um but Broken Moon has a lot of, uh, like, original cover, you know, when it comes to boxes, the vehicles, the buildings are really good to play on and stuff like that. So, if you're a non-movement character, uh, you are going to be just as fine as a movement legend, uh, me personally, from my experience with Broken Moon. And if y'all don't know, Broken Moon is actually my favorite map in the game. Uh, I think this is the best map Apex has ever released. Uh, absolutely love it. And... The second rotation, obviously, you're going to want to go to Core, which I just landed at now. And then you're going to want to go to Promenade or Stasis and then go to Terraformer. So you're basically doing the exact same rotation backwards. So you can either pick and choose how you want to do that rotation, depending on, you know, where the dropship comes from. So either Core or Terraformer, those are the two spots I genuinely say you want to be landing at. Um, I personally love to land right here at these back buildings. Funny enough, somebody actually tried to use my rotation from my YouTube video and then messaged me on PlayStation and said, what's the chances I died to you doing your rotation? So it is funny to see that some of y'all are actually trying to use my rotation um, to get kills and then dying to me using my own rotation. So it's kind of funny. But um, yeah, these are my great, like the best rotations that I can give you um, to get some kills on Broken Moon. Uh most of the time, you know, if lobbies don't die out super fast, obviously every um, every game is not going to be 10 to 15 kills or a 20 bomb or anything like that. Because, you know, some games are slower. People die out quicker, stuff like that. But um, when the lobby actually stays alive, I probably average anywhere from like, you know, I want to say 10 to 15 kills per game playing Broken Moon. So uh, zip rails are very good. Make sure you're actually using... Uh, zip rails all the time i'm pretty sure that's what they're called or whatever the rail things are um you can get around extremely fast with those so make sure you're using those consistently and not just running around um another thing i can give you is when you're at promenade always watch behind you promenade is so third party heavy sometimes like i'll go from terraformer to promenade and then just be stuck there the entire game because everybody rotates in there it is middle map so always make sure you're doing 360s to look around watch your back watch your sides make sure you're not getting caught in between 17 teams because that's what likes to happen over there um make sure you're playing the best spot possible um always try to stay away from like the middle of promenade 
uh, if y'all know what I mean. There's like uh, three supply bins on either side of you. Uh, try to stay out of that middle section because that's where you can get caught lacking the, the worst. You get stuck in between two squads right there. Um, always try to play one of the sides where the where the rail kind of ends at. There's like two supply bins, two sets of doors, stuff like that. So try to play one of those side uh, areas. You have three ways to get out if you do get pinched. So you should be fine about 90% of the time, I'd imagine. Guns I'd like to use uh, on this map is anything from uh, LMGs to assault rifles. And obviously, y'all already know me. If you've been watching the channel for a while, I always have shotguns. So... I always keep a shotgun on me. Sometimes I don't. Um, uh, I do highly recommend the Volt as well. As y'all can see, I'm actually using that this game. The Volt is a beam, as you can see just now. The Volt is an absolute laser. It's probably one of the easiest guns to use currently. So if you're looking for easy one mags, easy kills, uh, I do recommend picking that up as well. Uh, long range is not that crazy on Broken Moon. I don't feel like I run into a lot of snipers uh, personally or anything like that. Um, when it comes to character metas, you know, easiest way to get kills, and it's pubs, who cares, just use whatever character you feel like getting kills with, um, and yeah, that's probably my biggest, you know, help that I can give y'all a Broken Moon, um, so I'll say it one more time, Terraformer to Promenade, uh, from Promenade, go to Stasis or Core, depending where you're here fight at, uh, fighting, if y'all don't hear fighting, then just go wherever you feel, um, uh, rotation number two is Core to Promenade to Stasis to Terraformer, basically backwards um just do what you feel like doing or whatever the ship comes from just do that rotation and uh let me know how it goes for y'all in the comments come back to the video and just let me know um i will be dropping a video soon on how to get better with shotguns it's another big question i get asked all the time marcus how do you use shotguns i don't know how you do it mine hit for nine yours hit for a thousand i'll be showing y'all soon how to get better with the shotguns a nice tips and tricks tutorial video about that as well um and hopefully i get the lifeline guide going soon no, that's been asked for quite a bit and uh, just kind of skipped over it since, you know, I don't feel like I'm the greatest lifeline known to man anyways. But uh, appreciate all the love and support. And as always, it's Marky. Stay safe. Have a good day or night, depending when you are watching this. And peace. Rings close. And before someone gets to commenting, oh my god, bot lobbies, holy default skins. This is when, like, most people's accounts got reset, all their stats and skins got lost off their accounts. So, I don't want to hear it in the comment section. Oh my god, holy default skins. Yeah, I'm aware. Spotted 